In this video, I'll cover two concepts that we are all very familiar with in statistics, type 1 versus type 2 errors. If you end up learning anything from this video, please hit the like button and show some support and also subscribe for more. Thank you. Just like a judge's conclusion, a researcher's conclusion may be wrong sometimes. You see, research trials start with a hypothesis, which is a statement that the researcher is trying to prove. Example, drug A reduces the risk of heart disease. Here we are basically proposing that there is a relationship between the two, right? Drug A and also heart disease. There's something known as the null hypothesis. This is simply the opposite of the hypothesis. The null hypothesis in statistics states that there is no difference between groups or no relationship between variables. In this case, there is no relationship between drug A and heart disease. Drug A does not increase the risk of heart disease. Remember how in the beginning I mentioned that researchers also can make mistakes with the conclusion? A type 1 error is when the researcher makes a false positive conclusion. Drug A reduces the risk of heart disease by 50%. We are rejecting the null hypothesis in this case when in reality it was actually correct. A type 2 error is when the researcher makes a false negative conclusion after the research. Example, drug A does not reduce the risk of heart disease. We are accepting the null hypothesis when in reality it was false. In stats, we don't typically say that we are accepting the null hypothesis. I just use that verbiage to make it easier to understand. Now, type 1 errors occur due to random chance because research usually involves taking a sample size out of the whole population. It's possible that the results don't accurately predict or represent reality, that the conclusions are the product of random chance. Type 1 error is also caused by improper research techniques. To address this uncertainty, we use statistical tests to see the probability of the results being due to random chance. These tests also allow us to say yes, there is a statistically significant decrease in the risk of heart disease when you take drug A. An alpha value represents the chances of a false positive or type 1 error in our study. This is usually set as lower than 0.05. In other words, less than 5% chance of the conclusion being a false positive or results being due to random chance. When we conduct research, we use statistical tests to determine the probability value or the p-value to see if the results are statistically significant and not due to random chance. So we want this probability to be less than 5%. You can also increase the sample size, because if my research included everyone in the world, then there is a lower probability of the results being due to chance. Type 2 error could be due to statistical power. Power is the extent to which a test can correctly detect a real effect when there is one. Do you understand why this can cause type 2 error? So if the study is powered to detect a true effect or difference, then you will be less likely to conclude that there was no difference. When in reality, you just didn't power your study enough to be able to detect that difference. A power level of 80% or higher is usually considered acceptable. The risk of a type 2 error is inversely related to the statistical power of a study. The higher the statistical power, the lower the probability of making a type 2 error. Power is calculated as 1 minus beta. The beta is the probability of making a type 2 error. When preparing your clinical study, you complete a power analysis and determine that with your sample size, you have an 80% chance of detecting an effect of 22% or greater. An effect size of 22% means that drug A increases the risk of heart disease by 22% or more in patients who take it versus patients who don't. However, a type 2 may occur if the study results in an effect size that's smaller than the 22% that you powered the study to be able to detect at least. This means that the study has inadequate statistical power. To decrease the probability of making a type 2 error, increase the power by increasing the sample size. You can also increase the effect size of the difference. 